As a child, I used to collect and crush aluminum cans. I would fill up a large garbage bag full of them and would sell the cans to the recycling company. This was my introduction to recycling. I still recycle, but it usually involves me filling up the recycling bin and placing it in front of my home for once per week curbside pickup. Today, on Grandma Bessie's house, I will discuss common items that you can and should place in your recycling bin. If your city or town offers curbside pickup, this should be a more than easy task. If curbside pickup is not an option, later in the video I will mention alternative options to help you turn your home into a recycling haven. Number 1. Plastic Bottles and Containers When recycling plastic bottles and containers, make sure the items are clean and dry. Locate the resin coat on the plastic. The resin coat is a number between 1 and 7 inside a small triangle made of arrows. Check with your city or town's recycling program to know which resin coat plastics are allowed for recycling and which are not. Before we continue to the next items you should recycle at home, please like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below this video. Number 2. Paper Materials Paper materials include, but is not limited to, newspapers, magazines, office paper, junk mail, phone books, envelopes, and catalogs. Make sure the paper material is dry. If it becomes soiled or wet, compost it. We will discuss adding paper to your compost bin in a future video. Number 3. Cardboard, paperboard, and box board. Most boxes belong in this category. Flatten before recycling. In the case of empty pizza boxes, check with your city or town's recycling program. Some accept them, some don't. Number four, metal cans. Most recycling programs allow you to recycle small cans made of metal, aluminum, steel, and tin. Clean aluminum foil also falls into this category. Just make sure to clean the cans before you recycle them. As I mentioned, I was introduced to recycling by collecting and selling aluminum cans. I remember Grandpa George driving me to the recycling truck so I could collect my reward, usually around $5. It's funny how I would hustle to collect as many cans as fast as I could for the next $5. To me, it was like hitting the lottery. Before I forget, some recycling programs allow you to recycle empty aerosol cans. Number 5. Food and Beverage Wax Board Containers Examples of these items include dairy containers, juice boxes, broth boxes, and other containers made of wax. Check with your city or town's recycling program to see the rules for recycling these products. If allowed for curbside pickup, make sure they are completely cleaned and empty to avoid contamination. Nothing is 100%, and for items in this list that are not allowed in your recycle bin for pickup, you have other options for making these items easy to recycle. Look at the list of alternatives and comment in the comment section if there are any that I have missed. Number 6. Glass Bottles and Containers Glass recycling rules vary per recycling program. Check your local program's guidelines for options to recycle glass. These are the 6 items you should recycle at home on a weekly basis. These items should be placed in your recycle bin for curbside pickup or recycled using one of the alternative solutions mentioned in this video. Next month, I will release a video on items that absolutely cannot get recycled by curbside pickup. But, you will still get to recycle most of those items. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you are interested in learning more about recycling at home, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below the video. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.